Hi everybody, so we're gonna product review a little bit differently today and there are a ton, a ton of different ways to do this. So I'm just gonna go over a few of the most popular um, items. So we are gonna talk about the difference between products labeled as healthy junk food and actual healthy junk food. Notice how I put healthy around our healthy junk food and healthy junk food around the word junk. There's a huge difference. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is Justin's almond butter. I know we all like peanut butter and almond butter just to kind of snack on. Obviously it is a healthier version of a lot of other things we could be eating. However, Justin's is known to be you know naturally delicious. It's all natural, it's all of this. But when you look at their ingredients label, and I am only gonna be talking about ingredients labels here, not uh, nutrition facts. Um, instead of the almond butter just being almonds, as it should be, single ingredient. It's almonds and palm oil, which is one of our inflammatory oils that we don't wanna be consuming too much of. Um, so when you do pick out an almond butter, or peanut butter, or cashew butter, or sunflower butter, or whatever the case may be, you wanna make sure that it is a single ingredient and not multiple. Um, and that's gonna go for a lot of the things here as well. So the next one is gonna be popcorn. Um, Skinny Pop is one of the popcorns that's labeled as something that's supposed to be healthy, you know, it's skinny um, and all of those types of things. And although, yes, it is gluten-free and better than most other junk foods out there, um, your ingredients are all natural popcorn, sunflower oil, and salt. Now, sunflower oil is that inflammatory oil. We could do better by using the brand Lesser Evil. Um, this is organic non-GMO popcorn. You have organic coconut oil and Himalayan sea salt. So right there, it's still three ingredients, just like the other one was, but now we're dealing with more organic ingredients. We're dealing with non-inflammatory oils, such as coconut oil. We're getting healthier fats in and that type of thing. So really reading ingredients is very important when you are picking out processed foods. Uh, the next one is chocolate. So we all know the benefits of dark chocolate, but like which dark chocolate is the better version to go off of. So it took me actually a really long time uh, to find, but I went with one of the more popular brands. I went with Ghirardelli, um, just dark chocolate. When I went to their actual website and clicked on ingredients, it was blank. Uh, so I had to go and search for an image that someone had taken. Uh, so looking at the image for their dark chocolate, we have unsweetened chocolate, then we have sugar, cocoa butter, milk fat, and soy lectin, which is an emulsifier. And then we have vanilla. So when you think of dark chocolate, what should be in your chocolate? It should be chocolate and cocoa butter, right? If you want it to be a little sweeter, then yes, we're adding in sugar, but we're not adding in regular sugar. You can add in cane sugar, coconut sugar, um, is a really good unrefined sugar that you can add in, but we don't need the milk fat. We don't need the soy lectin. We don't need the vanilla. Um, you just need three ingredients. So if you're wanting a better chocolate brand is the Hue brand, it's H-U. Um, and what this one is for ingredients is organic fair trade uh, cacao, which is the chocolate in itself. It's that big old bean that they ferment. Um, and cacao nibs is something that you can actually buy. It's just specifically that dried uh, cocoa, basically. It's like what cocoa powder is. Um, that has nothing added to it. And the nice thing is that it is fair trade, so we are supporting environmental causes and workers' causes as well. You have unrefined organic coconut sugar and then organic fair trade cocoa butter. Again, that is just that buttery part that comes off of the cacao plant itself. Um, so again, we have much less ingredients, only three, and it's just a very simple dark chocolate. Again, your healthier junk food. And plus dark chocolate's got a lot of good benefits. But now we're gonna get to a big one, which is chips. I know that you guys all know that my favorite brands are Canyon, Canyon Ranch, Canyon Ranch, Boulder Canyon, Boulder, I always say Canyon Ranch, it's Boulder Canyon, um, because their chips is just potato sea salt olive oil or potato sea salt um, avocado oil, which again, are non-inflammatory oils. Yes, is it fried? Yeah, but you know, we're better than most. Um, so I'm gonna go over two, again, we have your, what is, seen as healthy option, which is simply organic white cheddar flavored tortilla chips. So this is by Frito-Lay, it's the Doritos white cheddar. So I'm gonna read off the ingredients here. We have organic yellow corn, everything's gonna be organic, so I'm just gonna omit that now. 
Uh, expeller press, sunflower oil, cheddar cheese, milk cheese, culture, salt enzymes, maltodextrin made from corn, sea salt, sweet cream buttermilk, organic tomato powder, flavors. We don't know if they're natural or artificial, just flavors. Uh, onion powder, Romano cheese, which is cow's milk, cheese, culture, salt enzymes, butter, cream and salt, skim milk, spices. Doesn't say which ones. Citric acid, which is from tomatoes, uh, garlic powder, cream, and lactic acid. A lot of ingredients. This is the white cheddar brand. Um, not great for those of us that are lactose intolerant. And although, yes, is 10 times better than the regular Doritos, still we can do better. And that's when we bring in the Siete chips. They are grain-free, they are dairy-free, and these are ones I'm going to go off of is the Siete grain-free tortilla chips dairy-free nacho. So this is like a Dorito, right? Um, so our ingredients is now a cassava blend. So it's cassava flour and cassava starch, which is a root vegetable. It's a tuber, just like a potato is, um, but it has a lot less ability to raise your GI, um, which is your glycemic index. It keeps your blood sugar a little bit more level. Then we have avocado oil, non-inflammatory oil. We have coconut flour, nutritional yeast to make it that cheesy goodness. That's what a lot of vegans or vegetarians use to get their cheesiness is through nutritional yeast, uh, which is a great ingredient. Uh, tomato powder, we got chia seeds. We have sea salt, we have citric acid, garlic powder, jalapeno powder, onion powder, and serrano power powder. All of those things, we know exactly what they are. Um, it is by far one of the better brands and Siete makes a bunch of other things. I personally have their chickpea flour, um, tortillas in my fridge right now for whenever I want to have some tacos, um, because they're minimal ingredients. They're more natural. They're easier to digest. You know, like I said, you know, everything that I've said versus the other one. You're like, what's maltodextrin? Why is there so much milk fat in this? Why is there so much flavors? Why is it just say spices? Because, Hundreds of thousands of things can go under those as ingredients. So we really want to be paying attention to the foods that we're putting into our body. And I cannot stress that enough. Read your ingredient labels. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It may be a vitamin. It may be, which would mean that the ingredient is fortified, whatever you're buying, um, which is fine because that through processing, sometimes vitamins and minerals kind of get taken out. So they add them back in artificially. Not to say that it's bad because obviously I take supplements and those are artificial. Um, so, you know, they're, they're man-made. Um, so, which anything that's artificial is man-made. Natural is not man-made, just to clarify the difference. Um, so that's kind of how all that works. There are, like I said, there are tons of things that are deemed healthy. You know, like you can look at anything that's gluten-free. 90% of the stuff that's gluten-free, if you read that label, you don't want it in your body anyway. And that even goes for my gluten-free, dairy-free Ben & Jerry's ice cream. There's a ton of stuff in there that is inflammatory to my body, but that's why I limit it to once a week in the summertime because that's really the only time I want ice cream anyway. Um, same thing with like gluten-free Oreos. It's still an Oreo. They're just switching out the flour for a rice flour blend instead. Um, everything else is still the same because also, regular Oreos are vegan, so there isn't any dairy in it. Um, anyway, so to make them gluten-free, all they had to do was change the flour. You know, it's still junk food. It's not healthy just because it says gluten-free. It's not healthy just because it says dairy-free. It's not healthy because it says keto or paleo or whatever type of fad diet is out there. Read your ingredients, educate yourselves so that you know what is going in your body and potentially causing unhinged inflammation that you don't know about. Any questions, comment below.